magnetism, and magnetic fields. Magnets have many uses, and the science behind them is pretty fascinating. And what exactly is a magnet? Magnets are pieces of metal, usually iron or steel, that are able to attract certain kinds of other metals. The force drawing objects to a magnet is called magnetism, and the area surrounding a magnet is called a magnetic field. Pieces of metal, like iron or steel, can be pulled to a magnet. This is called attraction. Magnets have two ends, or poles. One end is called the North Pole, and the other is called the South Pole. The opposite poles of magnets attract each other, while the same poles repel each other. Now that we have recapped the fundamentals, let's dive into the different types of magnets. Temporary magnets, permanent magnets, and electromagnets. Temporary magnets become magnetized when a magnetic field is present and lose their magnetism when the field is taken away. Like when you rub a magnet against another piece of metal, like a paperclip or a nail. Permanent magnets are made from materials like iron or nickel that are naturally or chemically magnetized and already have their own magnetic fields, like the magnets you use on your refrigerator. Electromagnets are created by running an electrical current through a coil with a metal core. The energized core creates a magnetic field, and when the current is shut off, the magnetic field disappears. An MRI machine is a good example of an electromagnet. Electronics like TVs and computers also use this kind of technology. Here's a list of items that use magnets. Speakers, computers, motors, doorbells, phones, compasses, tools, and doors. They are also used by recycling centers, hospitals, and lots of other places. In fact, the Earth itself is a magnet of sorts, with its own magnetic field that is generated by the Earth's core. This phenomenon is created by the combination of molten iron and nickel that exists in the Earth's outer core. The movement of these metals acts like an electric generator, creating convection currents that produce a magnetic field with north and south poles, just like other magnets. Unlike standard magnets, however, the Earth's magnetic field can flip over long periods of time, with the north and the south magnetic poles switching places. This happens because, unlike the geographical poles of the Earth, the magnetic poles are not fixed. But this process occurs over hundreds of thousands of years, so don't throw away your compasses just yet. The Earth's magnetic field creates a shield of protection around the planet that blocks harmful space weather, like solar wind and solar radiation. Without this unique defense, these types of weather occurrences would erode and eventually destroy our atmosphere. Who knew that the Earth and magnets had so much in common? Magnets are all around us. They're even a part of the protection of our planet. Perhaps one day, you will be a scientist or inventor that develops new technologies aided by the power of magnetism. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.